Hey Dave, Avery here at Northline Nissan. You inquired to us about one of our SUVs. Well today I have our Pathfinder SVO. So it's our middle of the road model. It's still got lots of great features. And now I'm gonna bring you on a brief walkthrough. So in the front here we have nice projection style headlights, really good bright headlights. We do have fog lamps below. And I know you're coming from the cold too, so we do have a block heater here. Uh, we're sitting on alloys. We do have push button entry on here, so smart entry, push it once. Sorry, the car's already started, but yeah, push it once, unlocked. So looking in here, we do have power options. We have windows, locks, mirrors, little storage cubby across the bottom. So look on the inside here, just a second. So we do have a cloth interior. We do have power seating on your driver's seat. So we can go forward, back, up, down, move our backrest forward and backwards. Another great feature for that cold weather up here, we do have a heated steering wheel. It takes about 30 seconds, nice and warm. Traction control in there for you as well. Tow mode, Pathfinder is good for 5,500 pounds of towing. Um, just a second, let me hop in. I already got her fired up. I was trying to defrost the windshield here, but we're having a cold one today. So on the steering wheel here, we do have convenience controls. On the right side, we have all our cruise control options, left side voice commands, Bluetooth options. Up here, you can control all your stereo settings if you want to change the volume, change the source. And this little button right here is our heads up display. So right now, we just got our vehicle there. Tire pressures, tire pressures, your radios, and if you got any warnings, some settings, all that good stuff. Like I mentioned, it is a push button start, so all you gotta do is hold the brake, push the button, and you're gonna be good to go. So, one second, looking up here, we do have our CD unit up here. Nice big LED screen up on there. We have all the controls for it re here, really easy to use. So, looking down here is our CD deck, as well as our air conditioning unit. We do have dual climate zones in here, so like you can see here, we can both get, we can get two different temperatures for you and the passenger going. 212 volts up here for your personal device. Two level heated seats in the front, they heat up nice and quick. It is automatic transmission with low gear. We do have our 4x4 engage here with downhill descent. So, two-way cup, sorry, two-way middle console got the shallow. Then we got our deep, and there's a there's a AV plug-in. There's a USB, two USBs, an AUX, and another 12 volt in there for you. So nice big deep glove box. Got a little file holder there. So one second, does it come around the back? One second. So in this model, we do have the three three row seating here third row can back down though and give you that bit of extra cargo room really nice versatile vehicle in that way so sitting back here I've got good leg room we have all season mats across the back your passengers in the back can control the temperatures if they need fold down armrest cup holders so for our seating here if we want to just go bring the half down we can go like that but if we want to bring it forward we're going to pull this one it's going to fold everything up in the front push it forward and then it gives you access to your third row back here they got cup holders and everything like that too just bring it back like this just going to push it back fold your seat down grab the bar at the bottom like it was your front seat and push it back just easy to work with so coming around the back here grab these out of the way for you just a second so yeah right now you don't have a lot of room in the back we got, just got this little storage cubby under here with our emergency road kit but like I mentioned before we just got to pull our seats down like this and then it gives you a really decent amount of space back here you got good room so really like I said versatile gives you the option of that extra passengers if you need it or just some extra cargo space So I'm gonna be sending you off another video here in the minute of the Murano just to see how you like that So I hope to be hearing from you and thanks for watching Dave